Hello. This is Dr. Elisa Matthews trying to multitask. And look, this is the first real live I've done. The other was kind of a practice one, but yeah. Notifying viewers that you are live. Awesome. That is so great. All right. So, uh, yeah, I want to be more communicative with the community. I love you all so much. For one, you guys, when we channel a notable figure or when we ask about something like North Korea, whatever, you guys submit so many awesome questions. I mean, the, you're just brilliant. And uh, I, I adore you for that. So these lives are gonna, we're gonna do a lot of different things. It's gonna be a lot of fun. There are ways that you can use dowsing rods to find Eric and sometimes they'll play hide and seek. It's a lot of fun. You can also use dowsing rods to uh, find portals on your property in your home and then when, if they're not supposed to be open to let in bad shit, then you can use dowsing rods to close them too. But we're going to be able to learn how to count the number of open portals in your energy. And yeah, all sorts of So you can also use them, uh, use dowsing rods to measure. Oh, here I am. Hello. Hello. Sar Farooq. Who are you? Rana Bilal. Yes. I'm probably butchering it. Butchering your name. I'm so sorry. But mine is even harder. Elisa Rebeus Medhus. All right. So we're also going to do things like learn how to use dowsing rods, learn how to communicate to our loved ones <laughs> on the other <laughs> side. <laughs> what now? <laughs> Uh -huh. All right, I'm going to keep talking. Uh, we're going to, you can find out who your spirit animal is. Who's your totem animal, people? And you can figure out what your past life was like in a lot of detail. That is really a lot of fun. And so we're going to do all sorts of little fun exercises and things and lessons about scalar energy and how I use scalar energy to heal people. That's also fun. All right, let's start with something cool. It's called the hand game. All right, so I like to talk to my son, Eric. He's passed away. This is when he was little. So cute. Anyway, uh, and I'm going to talk to him. All right, so we're going to use the hand game. Usually I like to tell the person I want to communicate with, hey, man, let's sit down at like 1 o'clock central time at the breakfast table and, you know, kind of let them know. Anytime you use any tool of divination, even if it's your hands, you must say some sort of prayer of pr protection. One time I didn't, right? And at night it freaked me out because all of a sudden this black blob was flying around my room and he had glowing red eyes, scared the crap out of me. But anyway, I don't do that anymore. But usually you could just, I, I have a long prayer of protection that I say, but it's so long, I don't say it every time. So I just say the, the word that I use to represent it, and that's apples. I have another one that says pepperoni. So I must've been really hungry when I decided to create those monikers. But sometimes I will say, it is with great love, respect, and gratitude that I call upon Archangel Michael and his entire dimension, rainbow ray guardians of light, to immediately and permanently and completely block, and if possible, burn in the flames of all holy fires, anything and everything that wants to deny me the truth to my questions or if interfering with the energy work I do to help heal people. By the way, on scalar energy, I've, I've been working on this beautiful little puppy, a Belgian Malinois. Oh my God, Ronnie. This is buzzing going on. Huge lymph nodes behind his legs and, you know, in the inner circle. This is buzzing going on. Huge lymph nodes behind his legs and, you know, in the inner surface of legs and a bunch of stuff. I did it in 48 hours. The lymph nodes were gone. So, oh my God. The surface of legs and a bunch of stuff. I did it in 48 hours. The lymph nodes were gone. So, oh my God. Fingers crossed. All right. So, let's go back to the hand game. So, I said my apples. And what you're going to do is I ask Eric, and I usually put my hands on my lap, okay? But I asked Eric, show me which hand is your...